Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Nicky Jams down here live at Soundstage, man. I'm here with GQ Mr. Sounds. You already know, man. We about to ask some three basic questions, man. You know, we about to turn it for y'all. Anywho, um, yeah, man. So let everybody know, like, how you get started producing and, you know, working with some of the names you got to work with, man. Let let, let the crowd know, you know. Um, it's, a, it's two quick answers. One of them was based off of a lie. Um, I was kind of forced into making beats by a producer by the name of Jay Oliver. Um, yeah, like everybody, he's from Baltimore, another dope producer. We rock together. That's like my brother. So that's how I got, you know, into producing. He basically told his manager one day um, that I was a producer just so I can come to the studio when we was like right out of high school. And when that shit happened, um, his, his manager was like, yo, send me beats for my artist, yada, yada, yada. And he was like, man, I don't know what the fuck to do. So he was just like, yo, I'm going to show you how I use this program real quick and you better deliver. So luckily he ain't never, you know, right. ask about it. But then um, the second answer to the question was like how I got um, working with some of the artists. Um, just through um, social networks. Um, back in the day, like Facebook, it had an option where you can search um like jobs. So one day I just typed in like Atlantic Records and all the employees who work for Atlantic Records popped up. Dope. So I just started sending off like a mass email to like everybody. So it was really dope. So that's how I got like most of my plugs and just started from there. All right, yeah, man. One last quick question. Um, You know, right now, as far as you getting to work and to see the things you got to see, what, what does it take inside you to keep up, you know, like par with everything you else you know, see going on, because, you know, a lot of people produce and a lot of people doing music, so what, what gives you encouragement and, you know, what, what gives you the insight to say, man, you know, I need to, I need to do this to get better, get here from today to tomorrow? Um, honestly, like, like, just staying, like, focused on everything, you know what I mean? Like, I try to listen to all types of music, all genres of music, and I just try to pull influences from everywhere. And then, you hear like, that? Listen to all types, types of, music. of music. Yeah, so, like, on certain things, like, um, and sometimes when I go through, like, that, um, that down period when I get, like, a producer's block, I'll just collab with people just to feed off that energy to bring me back because right. they, like, you can always learn something from somebody. Right. So, right. like, I don't, like, limit myself. So that's how, you know, I get through that. All right, dope, man. Look, y'all heard himself, man. So, look, I'm going to let him shout out his Instagram so y'all know where to find him at. My Instagram and Twitter is GQ, M-I-Z, F-I-T-Z, S-O-U-N-D-Z. That's GQ Misfit Sounds. Shout out to the rest of my team. You know, the whole Misfit Sounds camp, only 4.0. Salem at Tanaya. Shout out to my brother, Jay Oliver. You know, the whole team, we doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, this is what we do. Again, live with Underground Radar Media. And uh, thanks a lot, man. You know, turn up. <laughs>